Hello friends, welcome to my channel once again. In today's video, we will learn how to install Tails operating system on a Windows 10 PC using a bootable USB which we will create using the utility suggested by Tails operating system manufacturers. So in my previous video, you have seen how uh, we can create a bootable USB using Rufus uh, utility for Tails operating system. But in this video, we will be downloading the image of Tails operating system and we will be using the software they have suggested on their website to create a bootable media uh, that would be a flash drive and we will install Tails operating system on this Windows 10 machine using that bootable media. So you need to just uh, go to this website. I will give you guys the link in the description. And once you are on this page, you need to initiate the download by clicking this button that says download tail 6.0 USB image. And as soon as you click, a file will be downloaded. I already have that file downloaded. So I'll just cancel it and I'll just show you in my download folder how this file looks like. So this is the file. It has extension IMG. And after downloading the file, we will have to verify it by simply clicking on select your download to verify. And then locate the file you have downloaded. So that is the file and click open to open it. The process may take few seconds to complete. So let's just wait. The verification is successful. They just wanted to verify if the downloaded file is safe and was not corrupted during download. Now we will download their software to write uh, that image onto a flash drive. And that is the name of that software. And it is a free software tool that they recommend to install Tails on a USB stick. So simply click on download the software for Windows and a download will start. Okay, our download is completed. We will simply just uh, click on it to run it. I have already uh, plugged in the flash drive. Now just click on flash from file. And it will ask you to locate the file which you have downloaded for Tails OS. So mine is in download folder. That is the one, so I will select that and click open. Now click on select target and now select your flash drive from here. That is my external hard drive that shows up. So it says that is a large drive and we don't want to use that. So if you have your external drive connected, you will get a notification like that, but make sure you choose the right drive. So I'll select the Kingston. Uh, that is my flash drive and then click on select. And then simply click on flash. So the process has started. Let this process complete. If you get a notification, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Simply click on yes. Okay, so our USB flash drive is ready now. We have successfully created a bootable flash drive for Tails OS. Now we can close this. So once your bootable media is ready for Tails operating system, simply plug it into the 
computer you want to use Tails operating system on. And once you are done plugging it in, you need to simply click on the start button and then click on this power button. And now just press and hold the shift key and click the restart button. Make sure you keep the shift key pressed until you see please wait on the screen. As soon as you see please wait, you can release the shift key. And when you reach the screen where you see choose an option, you will have to select use a device. If you don't see this option, then you will have to restart your computer and tap F12 key before you see a Windows logo. You will notice on the screen at the bottom of the screen, there would be options uh, to press F2 to go to BIOS or in some computers, one time boot menu is F12. In some computer, it might be different. So just look at the screen and you will get the option if you see uh, F12 to boot menu. So just tap F12 or if there is any other key, then press that key. Most of the time it will be F12 key to go to one time boot menu. So we will click on use a device. Now there will be an option for external USB device. Here it shows network and that is CD DVD. So probably the first one would be the option for USB drive. So click on that and your computer will boot from a USB drive that is connected to your computer. You will see an option like this. So the first option is highlighted and just wait for a few seconds. It will automatically uh, boot using the first option or you can press enter. It gives five seconds time. So I did not do anything and it just took the first option. So after waiting for some time, uh, you will get this option where you can select the language and keyboard layout. So everything uh, is okay. And create persistent storage is something that enables the option of storing files or your password or your documents on this operating system. Because by default, this operating system deletes everything as soon as you shut it down or you take out the USB from your computer, which we have used to uh, boot it from. But if you want an option where you can save some of your documents or files, then you can choose this option and you will have to enable it from here. And if you want an administration password, you will have to click this plus sign, which will give you an option to create an administration password. By default, this option is off. But if you want a password, you will click that plus sign and you will get this screen. And if you click on administration password, you will get the option to create a password. So you can create a password. Just type your password and then click on add. Now you can click on start tails. We'll just configure it later. I'll just close it. Now on this screen where it says Tor connection, you will have to click on connect to Tor automatically and then put a check in the box configure a Tor bridge and then click on connect to Tor. On the next screen, click on the option use a default bridge and then click on connect to Tor. It will take few seconds and it will be connected.
okay it says it is connected to tour successfully with bridges you can click on start tour browser so it will open up a browser which can be used to browse websites so now we have a tour browser open which looks like mozilla firefox and you can use this browser to browse any website and this will be the interface of your operating system there is a menu at the top where you get activities applications places store browser if you just click them you will have these options activities nothing but what actually is open it's like task manager i think and applications is the menu which gives you the details of the applications installed uh, on this operating system which are preloaded so favorites include tor browser tor connection persistent storage is there we will talk about that later thunderbird which can be used for email and files which is nothing but uh, my pc or this pc uh, you have in windows accessories has all these options so you can just uh, go through the menu and you will get more idea uh, what is useful for you and when you click on places these are the options in places you have a shutdown button i mean a power button at the top right corner if you click that you have these options where you can use dark mode or power off or restart option you get a camera icon which can be used to take screenshots so i'll just close that you also get a menu at the bottom so if you just check your location it gives you a different location it works like you are using a uh, vpn and all these things are just for security reason so if you check it shows a uh, different ip so nobody can track you and it shows my location uh, mexico which is uh, just for security reason because i'm not in mexico and if you just go to youtube which gives the videos of your location but uh, that is not the case here if you open youtube it gives you the youtube video of a uh, different location so i'll just close this browser and now we will talk about persistent storage so if you click on activity uh, you get this menu so you can click on persistent storage from here or you just go to applications and click on persistent storage so when you click on persistent storage uh, it will open up like this but uh, the message which you see at the bottom sorry it is impossible to create a persistent storage on this device won't be there instead there will be an option to click on continue as soon as you click on continue it will ask you to create a password for your persistent storage and when you type your password there will be option to click on next or continue and on the next screen it will show you all the features which are available in persistent storage I'll just show you on their website. The reason I'm getting this message because I have used an ISO image uh, and I'm using Tails on a virtual machine using an ISO. So if you use a USB stick to boot into Tails operating system, then this feature will be available to create a, a persistent storage folder. So 
So the persistent storage will let you store your documents, Wi-Fi password, and your browser bookmarks. Everything in persistent storage is encrypted automatically. You can choose to unlock your persistent storage or not each time you start. So this is the option you get when you boot your computer, when you boot into Tails operating system using a USB stick. And when you click next, there will be option to create a password once you uh, done creating a password and you click next there will be a long list of options which you can enable so if I just click on configure persistent storage so these are the options I'll give you the link in the description so you can go through this information so you can understand more about persistent storage so I'll just close this and that's it in this video. Please click the like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. You have a great day. Bye-bye.